Okay, here we go. Welcome back to some more Star Wars Outlaws. Hope you're loading well, having a great day. Hope you had a great weekend, did something fun. Might be a little bit late, places I'm not 100% sure when it was, but happy Thanksgiving. Hope you enjoyed, hope you had fun. And had something to be thankful for. Also, I haven't mentioned it in a few videos, but remember, seizure warning, phosphorus, so be careful of that. The last video, a lot of things happened. Found out Sliru and Jalen were brothers. Like I said, I thought that from the start. Uh, Jalen turned on us. And the five almost killed us and we shot the <laughs> restraining bolt and that somehow disabled it luckily so ND5 is now free and as you can hear the alarms are going and we have to get out of here so before we continue next pets oh yes okay this next part is kind of spoiler, so Blyser's just be aware of that. And this is once again just a theory of mine, or something that I'm wondering. And Blyser, you can tell me in the comments if I'm wrong, or if you understand it a different way. But something that's kind of like interesting for me is it's like, they were, Jalen introduces ND5 to Sliru again. He says he's programmed to kill all Basha or whatever they're called family members. So the thing that I don't understand or wondering now is did ND5 chase K just because Jalen said? Or is she like his daughter or something? Or was? Or is she part of the Bashar family or something? Or like I said, that's just something I'm wondering. But okay, so we've got Nix over here and that's a perfectly good place for him. So let's before we do that. And this might also be spoiler if you haven't seen the video yet. Yeah, there is lying. Okay, you can't do anything with it. And there's the army you were in. <laughs> Just wanted to see if you can interact with the body for something. Okay. Press it, Nix. Gadik, can you hear me? Oh, Jay, you're alive. I've got a Sara and ND5 here, and we could really use that turbo lift. Got it. There's one side ahead. I'm calling it for you. I wish they would make it in these things that there's nothing to grab, that you don't even have to worry about it. Oh, they're already waiting. Okay, grenades are full. Uh, Bart are full. And I think let's take this. Since they give it to us. There's the lift. And there's the storm. This is a totally rich environment. Empty already. Oh, look at that go. Nope. 
I'm so used to X being the... in the way or something. See, there's one of those dead things because I slowly left him behind me. Oh no! I did not watch my health. Okay, when we get out of here, we gotta one rebels on a key, but they don't stand a chance against the Star Destroyer. You know, I'm not liking our chances either. Get on that lift now. Okay, I think it's this way. Oh no. Why can't I lock onto them? Okay, where is this left? Okay, remember I've got that thing, that's why that spike thing. Okay, where's the lift? Clear the mechanical room. The lift is here. Sara, we need to go. Okay. So clear it. So, just one thing before we continue. Okay, here is Akiva space. There is Akiva. Why are they light jumping from there? That's one thing that I didn't understand in this cinematic. In the previous video. Hey, but if you are having fun, enjoying blasting, remember to subscribe, hit that like button, and have the notifications, so you know when I post, we gotta go. and just always leave me a comment. There's too many of them. We gotta get back to the trailblazer. Run! Okay, Ang. Anytime now. 
I guess I just have to read there. Denny, you need to evacuate. Hyperdrive's online. Ready to jump. Sarah? You're breaking up. Say again. The Empire knows where you are. Can you hear me? Diverting power to deflectors. Deflectors? Are you serious? Did you have bullets, please? Sarah? Keep trying. A distress beacon. Calling in some favors. I hope. This is insane, this is intense. But I'm glad she actually decided to turn around. See, that's what an interceptor looks like. A Thai interceptor, by the way. make mistakes, right, Kira? But that codex could be very valuable to the future of the Dawn and this galaxy. Word spreads fast. We got a deal. Good. And tell the rebels to keep their distance. The Dawn protects their investments. That's you, Kay. Not them. Indicates on Vilio, Chris Turamna. Zongri. Jeevan does not make you. How about we get moving before they change their minds? Agreed. The rebels are 
evacuated. But if that Star Destroyer opens fire on the factory, the damage to Mira will be catastrophic. I hear you. We need to find a way to stop it. Can we even hurt that thing? Not to go shoot. Okay. You need to destroy the shield generators. I'm trying to stop there. Enemies on our tail. We're being hit. Crimson Dawn ship. How does it feel to fight the Empire in the open? Things are insane. We share many of the same goals. But Lady Kira believes your methods are misguided. No matter who you, we're not fighting the same fight. That's for sure. Where are we going for? See this. Me neither. saying what i've pulled from the codex jalen was right we can't tip the scales against the empire <laughs> oh you're serious we got lucky taking out the star destroyer for no money is lucky <sighs> we could use you Kay. i think i'm done being used just be careful out there asara What about you? Banke Danko. Benzamin or Luna de Tabola. Chinuma. Titaki das Legaton. Ah, that's too bad. I think I got the job. Lots of droids and casinos. Droid Uba Kava Pagwa. And safes to blow to pieces. Okay, Uba Malea. You two have fun. But I'll bail you out when you mess it up. <laughs> I figure I owe you one. So are you picking up their tab, or am I? <laughs> you still want your room? Ah, uh, just keep the lights on, Bram. As long as you need. I was wondering when you'd show up. Just here for my 20%. 10. But how about something better? I thought the Codex was lost in battle. To everyone else. I figure there's enough secrets in there for someone to start their own business. Just don't forget me when you rule the underworld. Could use a partner. Already got one. But hey, 
I'm easy enough to track down, right? Best slicer in the galaxy, caught for using March credits. Jalen Brax was clever, wasn't he? I see you read my file. Ten crews in nine years. No home, no family, and absolutely no attachments. Except for one. You have any idea what this is? Cheap bet at the father your track? A tracker. A strong one, too. Custom build. I'd say at least 10 years old. Whoever built this wanted to know exactly where their mark was at all times. Makes sense. You can't trust someone's always gonna be there. But that's what makes it matter when they are. Or an Imperial. I'd say this one needs a bit more time to think about what she's done. On me, Trooper. What do you think we should do now? Okay, so as you see there, the journey is over for now. Check the journal for unfinished quests and intel and explore each world fully. So this is the one thing that's pretty cool. It's not New Game Plus now. You can now do everything you still need to do and do jobs and just go on like the game goes on. But that was cool. I'm sorry. This is one of the best endings so far that I've had of a game. Like the story was cool, that space battle there at the end, the rebels helping. I'm kind of like interested if it's always Crimson Dawn helping because I'm excellent with everyone. I actually thought all three Cynicwits were going to show up or Lando or something. But like the end there with Kay's mother, that was cool and I have to admit, I did not recognize Kay the first, and then I recognized her. It's like, oh, oh, this is cool. So, I said, I was also expecting her mother to die, but she's actually alive. So, like I said, that's pretty cool, awesome. Like I said, this is just, this was a really good story for me, the ending especially. This, there was a lot of happening, a lot of twists and turns. Yeah, when you get to the point of no return, the story is really pretty cool. And I says, I really like the ending. This is one of the better endings. Like I said, I'm so tired of the endings where everyone dies and it's just this one dies and all sadness and uh, drama. And there's the trailblazer. So, any five is now with us. Freely. Free will. There is something here. Let's see what this. Okay, let's see the death mark. 
Oh, okay, that's the... I think that might be the... Yeah, that's the Sabak, the D DLC. Deathmark's finally gone. Huh. Guess it's time to start thinking about a future or something. It kind of still looks up there, by the way. Uh, mixes mess. I love how the ship looks lived in, how stuff gets added and so on. You're back in one piece. Hi there, Andy. Okay, but that is going to be it for the main story. It's actually going to be a pretty short video, but I'm glad I got it fit in. And like I said, it was a lot of fun. I have to admit the game, I really enjoyed it. I know there's a lot that's wrong with it and that people struggle with. But in general, for me, it's just a fun game to play. There's the speeder, the space laser. I'm not a huge fan of the space battles, but it is kind of fun. And the flying from missions, it looks awesome. Landing. And I have seen when you do take off and land, there's sometimes like a glitch where you see a part of a planet or stuff or just black. But I think they're all working on it. And then, like I say, is this in another video, we'll do the DLC and see how that is see what goes on there but yeah at least they are trying to improve the game the worst for me would probably be how the characters look uh, they look a little bit better now but especially when you talk to NPCs sometimes they almost look like a blurred blotch but okay be well have a great day hyperdrive coming online and see you in the next video. Let's punch it.